10 at 6 for one local woman completing a 5K has always been a lifetime goal. It was in May when we first told you about Ashley Brown. She suffers from a rare and chronic disease that causes her joints to dislocate easily. Now, three months later, we continue to follow her journey as all of her training is put to the test. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the inspirational story. You may not know by looking at her, but on some days, it's difficult for Ashley Brown to even put one foot in front of the other. There are days that I wake up with hip dislocations and I'm just, I have to be in bed for the whole day. That's because she is battling a rare illness known as Ehlers-Danlos or EDS. That means her body doesn't produce enough collagen, often making her joints weak. My whole life I've always been told by all of my doctors that I would be in a wheelchair by the time I turned 30. Um, and I turned 30 in April. Not only is Ashley not in a wheelchair, but she's walking her first 5K. Not, I'm not going to be a, in a wheelchair. I'm going to do a 5K. And so it was something that I had to prove. As she completes the first, the second, and then the third mile. <laughs> that's all the proof she needs. I trained hard and a lot, and I trained about every other day for the last you know, three months. And those months of training paid off. Because I wanted to show everyone that has EDS that it doesn't matter how many bad days you have, you can still do whatever you set your mind to. And there might be days when EDS wins the battle, but there are other days when you can win the battle. As Ashley crosses the finish line, she's overwhelmed, knowing today she won that battle. I don't even know how to say what that feels like. That's just I'm so proud of myself. In Terre Haute, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. If you would like to learn more about EDS and donate to the cause, you can visit our website. That's WTHITV.com.